I wish I had to solve problems that have uh, energy problems in them and momentum problems. Okay, but the first concept is uh, we need to look at something called an inelastic collision. Um, and inelastic collisions are, are ones where the where energy is not necessarily conserved. Okay, so uh, here we've got this this problem. We've got the bullet's velocity, and we've got this right. So um, the question is. Obviously, the, the momentum has to be the same, right? But the question is, what's the kinetic energy? So let's figure this out, right? Um, I'm gonna, what I need to do is figure out what this velocity is first, right? So I'm going to go uh, uh, 0 0.012 times, uh, that's, uh, times 351, right? Plus 0, because this guy's not moving, right? Assumedly, right? And then uh, this is going to be, uh, what is that? It's going to be... Uh, 3.215 plus 0 0.012 uh, times V. So let's figure this out, right? Okay, so 3.215 plus 0 0.012 is, of course, uh, 3.227 uh, Yeah, indeed it is, right? Okay, and then so let's do this. 0 0.012 times 351 is 4.2. 4.212 kilogram meters per second, right? And then that equals uh, 3.227 times V. So let's go uh, that divided by 3.227. And I get that this velocity is uh, 1.30523. Seven or something like that, right? I'm going to store that in. Uh, I'm just going to store it in A just for fun. Okay, now that's the momentum part. Okay, this thing's obviously it slows down because it, the bullet sticks in this block, right? Um, but the question is, does it still have the same kinetic energy? Well, the kinetic energy here is one half point zero one two times three fifty one squared, right? So point five times. 0.012 times 351 squared. That's 739.206 joules. Okay. The kinetic energy here is one half a bigger mass and a smaller velocity, right? So it could be still equal, right? Times 1.305237. Squared. Since it's squared, I'm going to like use all the digits. Actually, I'm going to use the number I stored. So I'm going to go 0 0.5 times uh, 3.227, right, times that number, that entire number, all the way down to the limits of my calculator's ability to remember numbers uh, squared. And I get that the energy is 2.7488 joules, right? Well, G, a lot of energy was lost. So where did that energy go? Um, you know, and the answer is, of course, when bullets rip into blocks of wood, they, they melt. I mean, the tremendous amounts of uh, kinetic energy turns into heat and, and uh, the work needed to rip the fibers of the wood, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this is a highly inelastic collision, okay? Inelastic. And that's because this energy is so much more than this energy, right? So momentum in collisions is always conserved, but the energy is definitely not conserved if it's if it's a, a crunchy, smashy, irreversible collision. We'll talk more about that in class. Okay. Um, let me just show you a classic example of a problem. Then I've got some examples that you can work out. Uh, but here is this is the the classic example. Here's a bullet runs into a block of wood, and this is what they did back in the day, and I'll demonstrate this in class. Um, but back in the day, before they had tachometers to measure the, the speed of bullets, I mean, now they just measure the speed of the shadow of the bullet at a shooting range, and you can measure the speed of the bullet pretty easily, right? Bullets still cast shadows even though they're going fast, right? So you just have a, a little set of photo gates, and you shoot it through there, and it'll, do, it'll measure the speed. Um, People, by the way, who, who are load their own shells, by the way, are intrinsically, uh, those, are the, those are the people that really want to know the muzzle speeds because too much gunpowder is bad. You can, you can blow out the breech of your, of your uh, gun, right? And too little uh, gunpowder is bad, too, because you, 
a bullet will stop some way down somewhere down the barrel, and, and uh, that's a trip to the to the uh, gun shop to get that fixed. Okay, so let's let's look at this problem here. Um, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a conservation momentum, right? So we're going to go uh, 0 0.012, just like we did before, times 351, right? Uh, turns into, and then this was uh, 3.227, right? That's the, the bullet and the block, right? They stick together, and we add that up, right? Uh, uh, times V, right? And then when we do that, 0 0.012, times 351 uh, divided by 3.227. We get that same number, right? So the velocity afterwards is uh, 1.305237, et cetera, right? Meters per second, right? So that's that's step one, right? In the collision, right after the collision, right? This, this bullet will stick in the block and this thing will be moving at 1.305237 meters per second, right? And then it swings up to some height. That, I think, is a kinetic energy. A 1 half mv squared turns into mgh type of problem, right? And then, of course, we can cheat here, right? It's the same mass, and so uh, the height that it swings up to is going to be uh, what v squared over 2g is the height, right? Okay, so that's going to be our 1.03, oops, 1.305237. Wow, my handwriting sucks. Okay, 1.305237, right? Uh, squared, right? Divided by 2 times 9.81, right? Okay, so square that number divided by 2 divided by 9.81. And I get that the height is, uh, that h is, I'll write it up here, uh, 0 0.08683 meters, right? Or about 8.7 centimeters. Okay. And basically, you want these strings to be very long compared to the height that it rises. Um, and the way they would actually measure the height change was that they would have a piece of glass off to the side here um, and they would put smoke they'd like put soot on the glass with a candle and then you'd have like a like a, a, a piece of straw or something like that sticking off to the side and it would it would measure they could, you could measure this the height by by seeing the little pattern that that made it would swing up like that and you'd see the the height change like that um, nowadays though we just have tachometers digital timers accurate to microseconds Better work out the example problems too, huh?